It's Donald Trump into a news state, <laughs> launched into a one single news channel. Well, say you're a cocaine dealer and you kind of look like one a little bit. <laughs> Since 2006, a 64% increase in violent sexual assaults. Now, what did they expect? Her point is, what do you expect when you put men and women together? Somebody's going to get raped. Shit, the sexual abuse between men and men. To support women in the military who are now being raped too much. So it's okay to be raped a bit, <laughs> just not too much, because we'll have to pay for it. Since 2006, there has been more uh, sexual assault allegations in the army. And she's like, that's what you get for being a woman in the army. And she was assigning that as well. She was assigning that problem as just women in the military being sexually assaulted, whereas there were probably, uh, as you were saying, mm. a lot of men sexually assaulted the military as well. Okay, so I have to ask you, John McCain, you want to say, ask, you know, these liberal pinheads. Liberal pinheads. That's your category. Um, oh, he's the guest. Straight away calls him a pinhead. Well, say you're a cocaine dealer, and you kind of look like one a little bit. Um, <laughs> oh! oh it's not there okay! We go. There you go, Bill. No, they're just having the crack. Yeah. They're just having the crack. You're a cocaine dealer. I can stop They that. can't send them in. Bill can stop it. Bill versus the cartel. It does matter. No, it does. It's, about, it's about getting no, no. to the root. When there's a fire in your house, you put the fire out, then you find out what the cause is. He, he has these analogies always, right? He's like, <laughs> you know, uh, if there's a fire in the house, you put out the fire and then you find out the cause. And you're like, Bill, we're talking wow. about drug cartels. Did he just call his guest a cocaine dealer? Yeah. Also, so they got these cocaine dealers. <laughs> you kind of look like a one. Yeah, what? Well, I wouldn't mind, but look, he's a like, man in a suit with a PhD. The Islamic State of Iraq and Syria signals the beginning of the reverse crusade. They are coming for us. This is the opening statement. I can't wait for the rest. Yeah. My resolution airstrikes, <laughs> bomb them, bomb them, keep bombing them. Innocent civilians, <laughs> bomb them. Abu al-Baghdadi was released by the Obama administration and started ISIS. He didn't start ISIS, one man. So we're starting it up today, yeah. <laughs> Press the button. The boy looks like he has a bag wrapped around his head. He's drawn onto a boiled egg. What she just did there is, is spark fear. Go oh, bomb, bomb everything. Bomb all of Syria because bomb them, no- Bomb them and bomb them again. Definitely no civilians live there. No people yeah. who aren't involved live there. It's just all terrorists. But I am urging the parents of black and Stop there. youngsters Stop there. particularly to not let their children go out wearing hoodies. What? A hoodie. A piece of clothing. The hoodie is as much responsible for Trayvon Martin's death as George Zimmerman was. You when mean? you see a black or a Latino youngster, particularly on the street, you walk to the other side know. of the street, you try to avoid that confrontation. A lot of uh, pedophiles have been known to sport moustaches, but yeah. you know, heroes have been like, shave it off. There's four people on a couch talking about an item of clothing. You walk down the road, you see a black or Latino guy, you know, what are you gonna do? You're gonna cross the street to avoid that confrontation. What the f You'd swear it's like uh, The Onion or uh, like an alert satirical music. Doing the pills, is it?